run some errands here at Target. So let's go do that. <laughs> to pick up some stuff for dinners later this week I got trash bags you'll see I got the holy grail of Christmas cereal which is Christmas crunch which I haven't seen in a couple of years so I was very excited to find that I may have like googled it last night after I saw someone on Instagram have it I'm like do we have it at ours yep we did okay so it's Monday night it's 405 we're having a pretty low-key dinner. We're going to have um, Italian sausage ravioli and marinara. Just that nice refrigerated kind that you get in the refrigerated section. So a super simple dinner. We're going to watch Doctor Who from Saturday. And speaking of Doctor Who, you saw me open this this morning. But here is, I crunched the cart because it was in my bag. Christmas Invasion, Season 2, Episode 0. This is when we first meet David. I don't know if I've talked about my deep love of Doctor Who before, ever, but I loved uh, the David Tennant era of Doctor Who. I have, jeez, I think I have the DVDs of the, of the David, I don't even know if it's the whole thing, it might just be season two. We own the entire David Tennant era digitally. I think we have all the David Tennant stuff on Blu-ray as well. I also love Matt Smith, but believe me when I tell you that when David regenerated, I would not watch Doctor Who. I would watch the previous seasons, but I would not watch Matt Smith's Doctor for like two years. I think I only started watching it once Colin got all caught up and he got to the Matt Smith era and that's when I started watching it. I would not. Would not. Um, when I played roller derby, fun fact, I used to play roller derby. My name was Dr. Ten Hit. Um, yeah, I can maybe pop a picture in of my derby days when I was Dr. Ten Hit. I had a white helmet with a TARDIS on it that said Time Lord. And my number was 200 and so it was whatever his age was at the time of the show being on. So needless to say, I'm very excited about this. So Christmas Invasion. Here's it all caked up. Here is the mini. Come on. I guess I just gotta give it a minute to focus up. I like this because it reminds me of like the stuff that he like, yeah. And currently it has this progress keeper on it, which is a Christmas one from, I think it's Simply Serving. I'm doing my second breakfast pattern because Emily's 80, sorry, this is the Doctor Who advent from Fangirl Fibers. Emily's 80-20 base is my favorite for a uh, second breakfast. Also, um, <coughs> excuse me, my cough is so much better. When I was texting Emily this afternoon, I'm like, hey, do you have any Doctor Who progress keepers in stock? She's like, no, no. She's like, no, what are you looking for? I'm like, I just don't have any because I literally don't. She's like, you should, you should be getting them. I'm like, I didn't look in the bag. So, David, David, hi, David. And then, um. These, I love her acrylic stitch markers. They're some of my favorites. They're in that box that I put up uh, on the weekend when I was talking about stuff. So yeah, really loving this. Gonna knit through that. I also have to make a gift for a coworker tonight. So we're gonna do that as well while we watch Doctor Who. I also got some gifties. Not gifties, I got mail. So from Christy at Yarn Cafe Creations. I love these little canvas bags. I don't know, it's not canvas. Muslin, muslin bags. Uh, so yeah, it's Christy of Yarn Cafe Creations. I love, come on, why is it like, like it's a cool effect on the card, but it almost looks like it's lenticular on here. It's not. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't with this light. It, I, I, if you saw in the background when I was at Target, it's so dark and gross out. So yeah, hand dyed yarn, made in Peyton, Utah. Christy, Yarn Cafe Creations. She even had like coffee on here. I love that. And I got the peppermint mocha, spiked peppermint mocha or just peppermint mocha, minty kiss cocoa and simmering palm teeny sock set. 
I've had my eye on this sock set for years and I finally pulled the trigger and bought it. It's gorgeous. Also, can we please give it up for her butt or her yarn bands? These are snaps. These are coffee sleeves. It's super cool. So, Yarn Cafe, Christy. I'll link her down below, obviously. I also got the... Now, if you got the Sinful Yarns um, Christmas Eve cast on and you don't want to look, I opened it. I asked Alaska, who is Sinful Yarns, if I could, like if I wasn't spoiling anything, like it wasn't a secret. Like, I have Christmas Eve cast on bags that I can't open yet, but she said I could open this. It was not a secret. So, this is... Look away if you don't want to see. The main skein. And then I've got the mini. And it came with this. I still hear it. Do you hear it? I hear it. <clears throat> I hear it. So yeah, that'll go on the tree. We have a bunch of bells specifically for this reason. Um, oddly enough, don't love the movie Polar Express, but really love the book growing up. Um, another thing I got in the mail I can't show you because it's a Christmas gift, but the fabulous ladies at Barley Pearl, Chris and Krista, whose shop is closed until the new year, but please, if you do not have bags of theirs, you desperately need to check them out when they reopen, sent me this super cute Santa bag with sled. This has the detachable wristlet. This also has the zipper. I like both their snap and their zipper bags. And then inside, like I always brag, it's got the two pockets and the plaid and then the little fob. So yeah, this is Chris and Krista. They're out located out of Arkansas, Conway, Arkansas, and they are barley pearls. Sometimes I accidentally say barley and pearls, and I know a lot of people do that too, but it's barley pearls. So yes, their shop is closed until the new year, but they have amazing bags. They also have bigger ones than this. Um, I believe there is one that is named after me, or there was in the shop at one point called Lindsay's Christmas Concert, that mine is, a, I have a string, mine is a little bit bigger than a, a standard sock bag, but I just love their sock bags. Georgiana Stitching Plaza, Barley Pearl, anytime I can get a bag from Emily, a fangirl, those are my, like, go-to. There's a couple other people, Ginger Snap, uh, Fate's Thread, I'm just looking at my bag pile that's over there. I'm seeing like, oh, oh, Hannah Lou Designs. That's exclusively through Bumblebee Acres. I have one of those coming in the mail from the Friday update. So yeah, I have a ridiculous amount of Vlogmases to catch up on. I need to start working on this Christmas gift. Eh. You can probably guess what it is. So got to get to work on that. And yeah, I think we're just gonna settle in for the evening. I'm gonna go take off the work gear, put on, I, I have soft pants for work. I have work soft pants, but I'm gonna go put on more soft pants, different soft pants. And yeah, I'll probably put a little B-roll in of our evening. Otherwise I will catch up with you guys after work tomorrow. Bye.